How's it going everybody? Wicked Fang here and today we're playing a game called Candy Scab. Uh, don't know much about it. I saw it on itch.io and said why not. Okay, I was going to options. Can I like turn down the volume? Okay. I'll say to you guys. You probably won't be able to hear it. Okay, so I'm going to cut real fast because i got to do me a little favor. Okay, and now I'm back. I had to turn the volume down a little bit for my headphone because it's like literally booming in my ears. So let's go ahead and start. It's the same thing every year. It's my birthday. That threw me off. Wait. Yeah. Birthday? As I was pronounced, it's my birthday. <laughs> You're all invited. Yay! Let's see here. You're all invited to. So you all. You all. Yeah. You all invited. You. Oh my god, that is a tongue twister for me. You all are invited. And you will bring me candy and presents. And if you don't, I'll kill you. And I'll roast, I'm sorry, and I'll roast you, and I'll eat you, and I'll spit you out because you taste bad anyways. This what that was what the void announced. That's what the void announced. And the void is absolute. Is absolute? I probably said that wrong. Okay, let's see here. Ah, uh, what are we gonna do? Uh, I take a you to one. Ah, uh, what are we gonna do? I don't have any candy. Me neither. And I ain't got the slightest clue what it wants as a present. Maybe more candy? <laughs> Good luck with that. Uh, what are we going to do? Calm down. That's what... Wait, go back. Calm down. That's what... Okay, and after that, we drop all. We sorry, we drop by the human world and get some candy. And after that, we drop by and get some. Okay, I'm confused if over the uh, phrasing, but okay. But what about the present? Listen, sloth, sloth, sloth. I guess it's pronounced. We'll cross that bridge when we get there. Human world basically has everything anyways. Basically has everything everything anyways. God. If we were ever going to find a good present, it will be there. R right. You're right. <laughs> You're so smart. Esther, Esther, I guess that's right, Esther, so Sloth and Esther are these two characters. I'm not smart, you're just dumb. <laughs> hey, screw you! <laughs> so you're ready to go yet? Or do you want to sit here and cry some more? I want to cry, obviously. But we should go. Esther opened them a portal. Oh, okay. The, the, the phrasing and the... I guess, yeah, the phrasing and the way the guy everything phrased out, it, it, it messes with me badly. Especially with me being dyslexic, it's like, what? <laughs> Did I read that correct? 
Hmm. What? Something is wrong with this portal. Oh, that's... Freg... Frodris? Frigris? Looks like it's a bit over... Cap... Capac... Capacity? Capacity? It looks like it's a bit over Capacity. I guess that means everyone else want to go to get candy too. I guess that means everybody, everyone else went to get candy too. Oh my god. Yeah, I doubt there will be anything left for us in the big city. I knew it. We're gonna die. The void will kill us and roast us and eat us and then it will spit us out because we taste bad anyways. Man, I'm getting so sick of your negativity all the time. Oh, sorry. Let me try that again. Yay! Yes! Oh, yes! Woohoo! We're gonna die! <laughs> Best day ever! <laughs> <laughs> Wait, I think I found something. There's a good amount of candy in this realm located. Location? Remote location, sorry. So, there's candy for us over there. Yes, maybe not as much as in the big city, but given that everyone is going to the city, that this might actually be better. We'll be the only ones in this backwater town. In this backwater town. And we'll get all the candy there. Yes! I knew you'd figure something out for us. You're so smart and wonderful and kind and the best! Correct. Wow, let me add humble to that list. <laughs> yes. I'm sorry. Let's get going, shall we? Uh, the duo hopped into the portal as one does. As one does, I guess. I, I have no idea. These words are getting me all flumble jumble. And off they go into the human world. But wait, it never's that. It's never that simple. Of course not. Given how many creatures had ha had hopped into into it in such a short portal, but pro into a short period of time, the portal had lost its juice. Sloth and Esther had just enough time to realize something was up, but not enough time. It's too. Certain, but not enough time to do anything about it. And so, assume, sorry, something pro pretty, pretty bad. Ha sorry, God, give me a minute. <sighs> and so, something pretty bad happened. Uh, where are we, sloth? Took, took a, took a look around, and realized there was, there was no, we. Esther, Esther. Where are you, Esther? But no amount of screaming could reach oh, oh that's um that's sloth i'm sorry i was giving him esther's voice uh but no amount of screaming could reach each other each are it's sorry <laughs> god no screaming could reach esther for whatever he was it was it wasn't here for whatever he was he wasn't here <clears throat> oh crap what am I going to do? Sloth decided that the best course of action was to run across, run around like a humble chicken. Headless chicken. And that exactly what he did. Until he stopped something. Until he spotted something. God. 
me just take these headphones off. I think the music's what's messing me up. It was a dim light, a little away, a little away, little ways away. I will say a little ways or a little way. I don't know. So sloth slowly creep cl closer to the light. To the light sounds better than that light. Oh, a pumpkin litten lantern. A pumpkin lantern. Uh, how nice. They must be here to gather the the guard of the house. A human house, I think. So there's probably humans living inside. Knock on the door or leave. Oh Okay, so this is Esther, I believe I'm playing as. No, this is Sloth I'm playing as. So, Sloth seems like he's a very more humble, sweet, innocent kind of person. And Esther seems like he's more the, I don't give a fuck about you whatsoever. So, I'm going to give Esther all the bad advice, or I guess not the bad. I'm going to give them pretty much things that suit them properly. So, Sloth here. I, I think I'm proud of name. Sloth? Sloth? I'm going to go ahead and make him the nice one. So, knock on the door. Yes, yeah, Sloth. Sloth. Sleuth. Sleuth, am I pronouncing that right? There might also be candy. And all the lights are off. Maybe the humans are out right now? Uh, I really don't want to, but here's my chance. Sloth knocks on the door gently and then hides. No one answers. A good sign, but I can't do it. I can't do that. But I can't be too sure. Sloth knocks on the door roughly and hides. Still no answer. So Sloth figures no one is really home and stick stuck. Yeah, starts knocking the door in, kicking the door in. Sorry. But he doesn't get far with that. After just a few kicks, someone opens the door. Guess they were home after all. Learn a little patience, will ya? I was already sleeping. Ah! Wait, you're not Valerie, are you? What? Huh? No, no. What am I saying? Valerie wouldn't be dressed as a princess or something. Sorry, would be. Valerie would be dressed as a princess or something. Say, what are you supposed to be? Uh, I'm a nightmare? Oh, a nightmare? That's scary indeed. <laughs> Here you go. The old man, the old man hands Sloth some candy. Slo uh, Sleuth can't believe his luck. Luke Sleuth can't believe his luck. I, I got y'all got for me. I'm not used to reading out loud still, so this is something I'm working with. Oh my God! This is exactly what I was looking for. <laughs> I bet you were. How did you know? Say, isn't here... Isn't here a little far? Isn't here a little far to be trick-or-treating? Okay. Uh, like I said, the phrasing throws me off still, so that... Yeah. The festive... Festival is at the town square, isn't it? What festival? Oh, you didn't know about it? Are you new here? You could say that. Well, little fella, we usually have we usually have a pumpkin festival for Halloween. 
is where everyone gathers to celebrate and the kids go trick-or-treating together. If everyone go oh sorry, if everyone goes, why are you here? Why, I'm a tad too old for all that rus ruckus. But you should go to the festival. It's safer. I'm sure you'll find way more candy there, there than around lone houses like mine. Wait, you're saying there's a lot of there's lots of candy at these pumpkin festivals? Lots and lots. Sorry. Yeah. Of candy. Just head back to town and follow the lights. All right. I'll head straight over. Thanks, human. <laughs> Take care, little nightmare. The old man closes the door and Sleuth... I, I feel like I'm saying his name wrong. Sleuth? I think that's how it's pronounced. Sleuth notices there's a pumpkin on the ground. He must have been in too much of a pinch to notice before. Follow the road, he soon spots bright lights shining through the woods. That's, that has to be the pumpkin festival. Maybe Esther is there too, somehow. Soon Sloth arrived at the, at the town square. Even though he... Even though it's midnight, there are lots of people. No one seems to notice him. Weird. I thought humans don't like my kind. But that's all. But that old man was really nice to me. And no one here seems to care even though I can tell they they see me. Humans were supposed to scream and cry and try to kill us. Was that all a lie? No sooner has the has he finished that thought when someone attacked him. I knew it. I'm sorry. I knew it was. I'm sorry. I knew it was a trap after all. I'll kill you. Uh, small human. Oops. Sorry. My bad. Huh? The human girl realized he gripped on Sleuth and he gripped on Sleuth and started her footing. Steeded. Steeded. St stated. That word I cannot pronounce. Thanks for catching me. Thought she was the one doing the catching. Thought she was the one doing the catching. Oh, I just get it. The, 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 that's the I'm the narrator in the long run too. So thought she was doing the catching. <laughs> okay, I see where that went there. That caught me. <clears throat> Small human. I've never worn high heels before. <laughs> what? Yeah, they're hard to walk in. That that I thought. The hard to walk in that I thought. I swear, the, the phrasing throws me off. But my costume looks great. Uh, you can tell what I am, right? A human? <sighs> I'm a tooth fairy. Oh, I see your wings. Okay. Yeah, I can see it, but you don't got a little tooth fairy wand. You should have like a little wand to go with that. What a tooth fairy? Huh? You don't know what a tooth fairy is? Really? Is it a type of human? No, no, or maybe. They're kind of like humans, I guess. Tooth fairies collect teeth. What the? Why? I don't know. I guess 
Money! Sorry, you get money for them, though. You don't know, even though you are one? You don't know, even though you are one. You gotta, me, you gotta forgive me, I'm sorry. Okay, smarty pants, what are you then? Um, a nightmare? Is that like from a movie or something? Movie? N no, I'm just a regular nightmare. That's cool, I guess. My name is Valerie. There's Valerie. What's yours? Sleuth. Sleuth. I, I keep on pronouncing his name wrong. Okay, Sleuth. Wanna hang out? Sorry. I really need to find some candy and my friend. Oh, candy? Let me let's go together. I'm sure we'll find your friend too. Sleuth thought it might be a good idea. Sorry, it might be good to have a kind of like human tooth fairy around. She probably knows the way around the humans. So they went to collect candy together. I'm glad we met. I was just about to go home. Because all my friends did already. I'm telling you, if you want to stay up late, you gotta nap during the day. But, but did they listen? No. Sucks for them. I'm gonna get my, I'm gonna get way more candy than them all, than all of them com combined. Where is the candy? Hmm? You gotta go to door to door. Door by door. Come to think of it, I ain't never seen you before. Did you just move here? I'm just visiting. How do we get the candy? Well, knock on the door. Oh, but don't knock and then... Don't knock... Yeah, don't knock on the ones without a pumpkin lantern. Why not? They're not part of the festival. They're just... They'll just get mad. Huh, so no pumpkin, no candy. Got it. Let's try Mr. Bloomstone's. Let's try Mr. Bloom's. Mrs. Mrs. Bloomstone's. She's nice. We might. We might even get full size candy bars from her. Before Sleuth can say anything, Valerie is already running to the doorbell. Wait! I thought you said knock! Huh? Who cares? Uh... Oh, sorry. Ah! Trick or treat! Oh! What do we have here? I'm the Tooth Fairy, and he's a nightmare! Well, then I better give you some candy fur fast! Before you steal my teeth and give me a bad dream. Oh, that's cute. <laughs> that's right. Uh, Sleuth is beyond confused. The lady, the lady's words, convery, convery, con convery, convery. Yeah, that's that's a word I can't pronounce. Fear, but her. The menor, the menor seems delight, delighted. The Demi, menor, I think I put that right. The menor seems delighted. Oh my God! Words mean no pronounce. My <laughs> brain no function properly. <laughs> me got small brain. If y'all don't appreciate, if y'all don't want to hear me like try to read these things and stuff and all, I'm terribly am sorry. You can just pause and read it yourself and just listen to me struggle, which I know it's going to be like an issue and all, but again, I'm terribly sorry, so please do forgive me and work with me. Like I said, I'm dyslexic and I'm not used to reading out loud a lot either. The two of them are clearly threat threatening, threatening her. The two, are, two of them are clearly threatening her. 
Why the smile? I hope I said that right. Oh, she... Er... Shoot! Ah, uh, she was about to say something. Oh, shoot! The bowl is empty. Wait just a moment. Ah, a... Technical... Retreat. A tactical... Yeah, tactical retreat. The smell must be... Must have been a fake one. The smell must have been a fake one. <laughs> I told you she's nice. Nice? She just closed the door. Sleuth loses the thought as he spots something from the corner of his eyes. A familiar figure, or so he thought. Esther? Hey, where did you... Wait... Yeah. Hey, where do you think you're going? Huh? What? The candy, Mrs. Bloomstone. Bl Bloomstone. I'm just getting it for us. But my friend. Candy. Sleuth candy. <laughs> she makes a good point. And just then... The lady returns, oddly enough. Both of them get some chocolate bars. He, I was like, he, <laughs> thanks, and see you later. See you later. Say hello to your mom for me. Okay, bye bye. As soon as Sleuth has secured the candy, he dashed towards the direction he saw estrogen at. Uh, where? But he came here. Sheesh. Don't take off like that. You saw him too, right? No, I had my eyes on the prize. This thing. Sleuth watch and Poor as Valerie takes a bite out of the candy bar. Well, what are you doing? Hmm? You you can't eat that? <clears throat> what are you talking about? Of course I can. But but the void. The what? My my spawner. It'll get mad. Oh boy. So you have those kinds of parents. Huh? Boo. Don't eat the candy. It's all po um, poisoned and full of tax and it's, it's all full of tax. No. What the crap? Yeah, exactly. So really and eat some candy. No, sorry. Yeah, exactly. So relax and eat some candy. It's not mine's to eat. Yeah, it is. At least eat the chocolate ball, chocolate Miss Bloomstone gave. She's my mom's friend. I promised. I promise it's not tampered with. Oh my god! Can I adjust my screen or something? Like maybe I got scooched back a little bit. <clears throat> eat the chocolate. Don't you dare. Mmm. Okay. If he eats the chocolate, he's going to have this void, as he mentions, that's going to come and kill him. But he does need to relax. He's freaking out and panicking over nothing. And besides, it's only one chocolate bar. It's not like he's going to eat all of it. But then again, he might actually get addicted to it and eat all of it. Mmm. I might do a replay on this later on in the future, but let's try to stay safe. I'm not going to eat it. I, I can't. It's for the void. <sighs> Your loss. 
It's not a loss. It's it's not a loss at all. Um, I'm glad to give it all my can. I'm glad to give it all my candy. Wait, your parents eat the candy you collect? Yes. That's messed up. They're old enough to buy their own. The void is not messed up. Okay. Sorry. I didn't mean to insult your folks. Your folks. Mm. Um, I guess it's different for tooth fairies. <laughs> yeah, I guess so. So, are we cool? Yeah, sure. Anyways, I guess Esther went here after all. Wasn't here after all. But at least I know he's around. Let's keep track or let's, let's keep trick or treating. I'm sure we'll run into him again. Right. And so the two of them continue their trick or treating. Say, Valerie, I've been wondering about something. Okay, shoot. I keep seeing all kinds of monsters around, but I thought humans were afraid of scary things like that. Are we playing monsters now? Uh, are we? Alright then, let's see. Ooh, what's a... Once a year, a spooky night comes. The All Hollow Eves. <sighs> okay. <laughs> and the scary creatures from the realms beyond come creeping and crawling around. Like tooth fairies? <laughs> That's the only way I can think she goes. Yes, like two fairies, the scariest of them all. <laughs> anyway, they come. And the only thing humans can do to appreciate those demons is to give them candy. Huh, I see. That's. I guess humans are used to it then. Because they don't seem to mind us. <laughs> yep, yep. They better be nice to us, after all. Or we might play trick tricks on them. I'm just glad that it's like that. I thought humans would kill me. No one kills monsters anymore, or witches, or anyone. R really? I heard humans kill each other all the time. Mmm, they do? Don't they? Valerie looks worried. Maybe she didn't know that much about humans after all. Well, you don't need to worry about humans murdering humans anyways. Because you're not a tooth fairy. Not a, so you're a tooth fairy, not a human. <laughs> I guess so. Let's stop talking about that kind of stuff. We got candy to collect. Right. Let's get to it. Let's get to it. They visit several houses and got candy from almost all of them. Incredible. This should be plenty enough candy. Now only... Now I only need to find... A present, find a present, a uh, present, yeah, find a present for Esther. And Esther, find a present in Esther. Valerie catches some sleuth, marveling at, marveling at the can, at his candy. Ugh. <laughs> what are you do? Uh, what do you think? I'm picking some good houses, huh? You are, you are. Do you know all of these humans? I guess. Impressive. And they don't care about your... They don't care that you're a tooth fairy? Heh <laughs> sure. But I still don't get the teeth part. 
Why would you want those? It's not like you can stick them in your mouth and start biting things with them. Mmm, <laughs> that, that, got the idea of that, oof. <laughs> All I know is that tooth fairies give you money for teeth. Why? Maybe they're valuable? Valuable, huh? Mm, excuse me. Yeah, I know some people collect teeth too. Like my grandpa, he turns bear teeth into necklaces and staffs and stuffs. That's pretty cool. Do you? Oh, sorry. Yeah. Do you do that? Do you do that? Turn teeth into necklaces? Ew! No way. Sleuth thinks about teeth. <laughs> Weird. Uh, would the void likes a necklace made of teeth? Oh god, no. The more he thinks about it, the more he is con convinced. Oh god, no. It might be a very good present. No. But no one else would forgive... Uh, fi sorry, no one would figure to give such a gift. But where to get the teeth? Mm. Ask Valerie! We're not yanking teeth out of people's heads! Please, no. Do you have lots of teeth? Huh? You seem like the skilled collector. You could you got us all this all this candy. So I'm sure you've got very good teeth fair tooth fairy too. Very good tooth. Fairy 2. Okay. Sleuth knows you must flatter your targets before asking them for a favor. Okay. Uh, well, I sure look convincing. Got the wings and everything. Yeah, and those shoes. Haha, <laughs> I think I've got... I think I've gotten a huge of them. I have the hang of them, sorry. I think I got the hang of them actually. Having tripped on them a while. Haven't tripped on tripped in them in a while. God, bleh. the words confused my tongue. <laughs> Alright, so you must have quite the collection of teeth. Sure. And you must have all kinds of nightmare fuel in your pocket? No idea what that is. I don't need fuel to cast a spell. Oh, spells? So you are not only a nightmare, but a wizard too? What? No, I'm just a nightmare. I can cast a bad dream that's just common, common sense. Sure thing, buddy, if you say so. And you should see the night terrors Esther can, ca can summon. What are those? They're absolutely worst things you'll ever dream of! Oh, okay. Hmm? Anyway, I was just thinking, if you could give me some of your teeth... Are you trying to tell a joke or something? Nah. No, I just need some teeth. I think you'd make a great person for the void. A present. Make a great present. <laughs> I think they'll make a great present for the void. And I have to bring a bring it to bring it a good present or it'll kill me and roast me, and roast me, and eat me, and spit me out. You're scaring me a bit. Don't say weird things like that. What's weird about it? It's just... Mm. Come on, we still have some houses to visit. Looks like Valerie isn't willing to part with any of her teeth. Well, no door, but no, we're not going to run around yank people's teeth out of their skull and obviously yank out Valerie's like no why 
it's understandable if the, if the teeth are that valuable it'll be stupid to give them away that easily nah you think but now sleuth is sure a necklace of human teeth is going to be the perfect present still sleuth is a little sad he thought maybe him and Valerie were becoming friends he must thought he must have thought wrong it seems like Valerie would be just fine letting the void eat sleuth either way the two of them decided to look for a place to rest Valerie ugh, my feet are killing me Sleuth looks at her feet they didn't look aggressive <laughs> uh, yawn ah, I'm getting a little sleepy oh yeah, maybe that's enough trick-or-treating for tonight. Yeah, I thought we had enough candy. I think we have enough candy. Too bad we didn't find your friend. He's probably... He probably went home already. Hmm? What? W what do you mean, went home? I mean, it's pretty late. Most kids are definitely home by now. So you're friends probably went home too right probably not no he didn't mm, no he didn't I don't think he would have gone home without me he knows I can't even get home without him huh why not yeah I don't know how to get back he's the only one he's the one who took us here that's bad I didn't realize you were lost I'm not lost he is <sighs> Valerie is very tired her feet hurt from walking big girl <laughs> from walking big girl shoes all evening and she ate so much candy she's feeling quite nauseous her mom must be worried too it's way past her curfew really all she wants to do is go home but she can't she won't not until sleuth finds his friend uh, all right huh Let's go look for your friend. M really? Yeah. You can't go home without him, right? Yeah, but are you okay? I'm okay. We'll take a quick look around. And if it's hopeless, we can get my mom. We can get my mom. She knows what to do. Oh, excuse me. I'm going to take these headphones off. Because I'm reading better now that I don't got the headphones in. Sleuth doesn't look... Sorry, Sleuth doesn't like the sound of that at all. Who knows what a Tooth Fairy's mom would do to a nightmare. She might not be as nice as Valerie. But as long as they find Esther soon, it should be... It should all be okay. Right, let's go. But first, I'm exhausted. Let me go wash my face. Maybe it'll refresh me for a bit. Okay. Valerie walks towards a set of str stairs. And the they led down towards they led down towards two doors. Slight forward, but is interpreted it is interpreted I guess mm. hey you can't come in here it's the ladies room huh just wait here it'll only be a minute oh okay and so Valerie disappeared into the into one of the rooms 
sleuth also disappeared. Why, you wonder? Someone appeared from behind and pushed him into the other room. Esther! Finally, I thought you I thought that thing would never leave. Where were you? I've been looking all over. I was telling you, looking for a moment to rescue from that human. Now be quiet. We wait until she leaves. What are you talking about? What human? What are you... Are you stupid? That human you were just with. A realization downed on Sleuth. Oh, no, no, no. She's not a human. She's a tooth fairy. A what? A tooth fairy. I'm sorry, I got Sleuth and Estrogen's personalities are already perfect. I, 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 I love the voices I'm giving them right now. They're kind of like humans, but not really humans. Is that what she told you? Uh-huh. Listen, Sleuth. That's a human. Everyone here is a human. How do you know? I saw lots of different creatures around earlier. That's because they're lazy and didn't look properly. Those were all humans and costumes. They're pretending. What? Why would they? I don't know. It's a game, I think. If you're in a costume and knock on the doors with pumpkins lit 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 pumpkin lanterns near them, you get candy. That's what I've been all able to gather. That's what I've been able to gather. I got candy that way. I got candy that way too. I know. I saw you. And I saw. And I was so scared, you idiot. And I was so scared, you idiot. Okay. What were you thinking? They. The humans didn't mind me. Yeah. That only is because they thought you were a human in costume. But if one of them found out that found out the truth, you'd have been dead. I can't take my eyes off you for a second. Don't ever do that again. Well, it doesn't matter now. I found you and you're safe. I got us the candy. Slew shows Estrin how his candy collection. And just like that, all of the energy and worry, sorry, all the anger and worry in Estrin, Estrin's face was away. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. You, you sure did it. You sure did. That's incredible, Sleuth. Yeah, yes, yeah, uh, it, it is. Price, praise me more. The Void's gonna love me. As long as we get a good present, we're set. And that, I know just the thing. Oh, a necklace made of teeth. Teeth are apparently valuable. Assuming that wasn't another lie. A tooth necklace. <clears throat> a tooth necklace, huh? Esther thinks about it. That's actually a pretty good idea. I can see the void thinking something like that. Liking something like that, sorry. Right. Right. Get, get the girl over here. We'll pull out her teeth and go! Uh, why her? Here. But she's the one who helped me get all this candy. And she's also the one who's, who's been lying to you this whole time about being a fairy. 
or whatever. Agree or disagree? Ooh, the disagree has a skull next to it. Oh, I don't want to hurt her. I don't want to hurt Valerie. Mm. The flowers are peaceful roots. The stars are bad roots. <laughs> Can I like get a different present? Like, oh my god, I don't want to. Valerie's a sweet girl. <laughs> Agree. You're you're probably right. Probably. I'm always right. Well, yeah, but come on. Tell me one instance where I wasn't right. I dare you. I don't have any, but bring that girl here. Mm. I feel the same way. I, I'm like sloof right now. I don't. <laughs> Could Esther be right? He is often right about most things. Still, somehow Sloof thinks that he might not be right about this one. Yes. But that's probably just wishful thinking. Valerie. Oh my god! There you are! Yeah! You should have told me you were going to use the restroom. I mean, I figured as much, but it was still freaky to find you gone. Right. Sorry. Are you okay? Wait. Where's your candy? Oh no. Did something happen? You're... Huh? You're not a real tooth fairy, are you? <laughs> what is that? This... Is this why you're sad? Mm. Don't tell me you believe I was the real thing. This... This whole time? How old are you? Two fairies don't exist. <laughs> Oops. Go back. So you're just a human? Of course, dummy. <laughs> Why is she laughing? She admits that she's been lying this whole time. And then she is just laughing? It broke Sleuth's heart into itty bitty pieces. Something could grab a something could grab a hold of his heart or well the pieces. Humans are like this, huh? Valerie. But seriously, Sleuth, are you okay? Esther was right. And he spoke the truth. Esther has always been right. And he has always been true. Actually, I think I dropped my, um, my necklace. What? In the toilet? Oh boy. Yeah, can you help me in the... To help me get it? I don't know if you should get it at this point. It's important. Uh, well, maybe if we finish it... Well, maybe if we fish it out into a plastic bag. I'm scared where this is going. Which one did you drop it in to? That one, I think. That one. Valerie opens the door. Opens one of the stall's doors. Trick or treat! Ah! Esther jumps out of the stall and grabs Valerie. She screams and struggles so much that Esther loses his grips on her. But there is nowhere to run. Sleuth is blocking her way out of the stall. 
and while she is trying to push Sleuth, Esther grabs her again. She keeps kicking and screaming and punching as the whole, as the two of them were, as the two wa whist, whistle, whist, wrestle, sorry, as the two of them wrestled her head into the toilet. Give me a swirly. Feather keeps flushing and keeps on flat. Feeling, fling, flat, feeling, feeling in panic. Word I cannot pronounce. He's struggling. Works against. Yeah, he's struggling. Works against her. And soon, some water gets into her lungs. Oh God. The this causes her to gasp for air, but there is no air. Only more water. Then she passes out. Wow. Did she fi finally die? I don't know. Man, she was so strong. Good thing we're we're yeah. Good thing there was two of us. Shut up. Get the <laughs> get the damn teeth and let's get out of here. <laughs> wow, since we did it, since, uh, since when did you start talking like that to me? Right now, obviously. Well, I don't like it, so you can stop right now, too. The teeth, Esther! Yeah, yeah, I'm on it. The two of them tried to pull her teeth out with their hands, but... That doesn't, but that does nothing. Eventually, they remove to using. They resolve to using broken floor tiles, pieces lying about, and they manage to get out a few of their of her teeth. But that that's really messy. For crying out loud. This is way harder than it needs to be. Yeah, wish we had, like, claws or something. Shh. Hmm? They hear footsteps. Someone is coming down the stairs. A human? Let's get out of here. The two dash out that instant with just a few teeth in their hands. On the stairs, they pass by some man who appear to be intoxicated. So they're not too worried about being seen. They become, however, extremely worried after the man enters the restroom. The man is screaming for help. And an ambulance... Ambulance. Um, um, ambulance? I think I pronounced it right. And for the police. Sorry. <laughs> Scream for help and the ambulance and for police. And for good and for God too. Why not? And suddenly all kinds of humans started gathering. As Esther and Sleuth run into the woods. Uh, Sleuth takes one last look back. Mm, excuse me. The humans are screaming about. Are screaming about trying to help Valor. Mm, excuse me, got hiccups. And for a brief moment, Sleuth thinks to thinks he's seen her look back at him. Thinks he's seen her looking back at him. But that couldn't be. Could it? Ugh. Just open already. Estrogen. Esther is summoning the portal. The humans will be here any moment. The humans will be here any moment. That was true. As many things out the out of Esther's mouth were. 
while most of the people present focus on Valerie, there were some who saw the two of them. Surely they were going to send some people after them. Think those teeth will be enough? Think these teeth will be enough? They're gonna have to be. It's open, come on! A successful retreat. Phew! Home at last. I'm oh, sorry. Phew! Home at last. Yeah! Uh, I'm beat. How how is this how is the candy? It's fine. Some fell while we were running through running while we were running through third. While we were running through. Yeah. But we still have more than enough. Oh good. I'm gonna turn those teeth into a necklace now. Thanks. <clears throat> Thanks. I'll find us some clean clothes. We can't go to the birthday party covered in blood and toilet water. It's this disrespectful. The void will kill us and roast us and eat us and eat us even though we even though we murdered in toilet water. Marinate in toilet water. Eat us? Even though we marinate in toilet water? Mm. <laughs> Fine. Just kill us and roast us then. Aren't we lucky? <laughs> Cheer up, Sleuth. I'm, <clears throat> I'm not sad or anything. Just worried if we may it make it in make it on time there we'll make it just fine as long as we have soon as long as we leave soon but there is still a few extra minutes to cry on my shoulder if you need to I'm telling you I'm fine now stop bothering me I'm making art here <laughs> With that necklace crafted, they finished cleaning up. Now, all that is left is the moment of truth. The birthday party brings begins. Here is a poem about it. It's the void's birthday. Our friends arrive on time. They have a present in two and toe and candy. They have a present they have a present in toe and candy. Ho oh, so fine. They have the tooth neck the They have a tooth necklace in a box with a pretty bow on top. And they have far inside their Belize. Belize trying their trying their guts into a knot tying their guts into a knot I, I hope I'm reading that correctly some of the words throw me off Wow what a great peep pride yeah what a great piece of liter literary liter literary art Lit literal I can't even fucking say that word art that was Anyways, back to the birthday. Oh, ho, ho. it's my birthday. All my children are here on my birthday. Now hand over the candy. Give me the presents. The void opens the presents, giving the giving by the unlikely nightmares nightmare who was close to it it is it's a collection of beautiful red candles they're crafted into 
various shapes. What is this? Did I ask for this? I got candles last year. I don't want them again. The nightmare started promising he'll give a better present. He says he'll go find one right now. But it is not enough. The void crushes him and throws him into the bone fire. Bonfire, sorry. And then it eats him and spits him out. Guess he tasted bad. Next! It is Sleuth and Esther's turn now. Happy birthday. Happy birthday! Oh, what is this? The Void observes the necklace while munching on their while munching on their candy collection. Seriously, what is? Sorry, what's the crap? Is this? It, it's a necklace made of human teeth. It's very rare and handcrafted with love, blood. And tears. The toilet water. And toilet water. <clears throat> and it's rare! Hmm, I see. Where does. Where does it suit me? Well, sorry. Well, does it suit me? Is he. Oh! You guys read that on his hand. I didn't see that. I don't know if y'all can see my mouse or not, but yeah, it's right there on his hand. It's on his finger. It's like wearing like a ring. That's pretty cool. Even, even slight, even single nightmare. Sorry, every single nightmare in the room started screaming, complimenting at, at the top of their lungs. <laughs> I suppose it does. <clears throat> What's a neat little present? Next, and just like that. The two nightmares served the void birthday, birthday once survived the birthday once again, once more. Yes, yes, it was a happy ending for them. Not for Valerie though. The humans managed to save her, and she is back on her mother's safe. She's back in her mother's safe, loving arms. But in her heart, of in her heart of hate hearts in her heart of hearts I guess I pronounced it right there will always be fear always a tongue of sadness a ton of sadness so for her this was not a happy ending anyway if you ignore poor Valerie and only look at it from the nightmare position of you, everyone is just fine. Well, at least for now. It's the same thing every year after all. Bad ending. Wow. Wow, I got the bad ending. Holy shit. Oh my god. Oh. It sucks. Oh, it sucks that I had to do that. I didn't want to get the bad ending either. I didn't want to pull out Valerie's teeth. That was... Oh. I was doing everything I can to avoid getting the teeth. Oh my god. It was this is a cute game. It's a cute story. I will uh I will uh probably like I mean I, I'm not even paying attention to my time. I have no long I have no idea how long I did this. But I actually enjoy this a lot. 
if you guys enjoy this a lot, do like I like I've been asking for like fifty likes. If if you all want me to do more games like this and stuff, like if you all want to like support me with my reading skills and stuff, because like I said, my reading is not really that well because I'm reading out loud plus my dyslexia and everything else kicks in bad. If you guys actually enjoy this and do support me and help me out a lot in this thing, if you find more games like this, I will gladly play them. I love playing this game. I love the art style. I love the story. It was it was amazing. It was cute. It was it was awesome. And I want I want to play this again. I want to play this again and try to get different endings. So I might do another gameplay of this. I mean, reading all over again. I might read better. And I will come out with different endings. Um, excuse me. So. Yeah, if, like I said, like, comment, subscribe, and if y'all enjoy this video, do, do do hit me up. Like, I asked for fifty likes, but if you can give me more on this, would be outstanding. Um, but yeah, like always, guys, take it easy. Peace.